Let's see. We mop the line. We just got to turn up our defensive aggressiveness and alertness. We, we don't have, we're not into them. We're late on everything. Part of it is first game of the series. We're not used to what they're doing. The biggest thing, though, our defensive disposition has got to change, and it's got to change now. All right? We got to get into it. Let's go. Stan Van Gundy not happy with the Lakers shooting 52% from the field. Part of the reason why they are up 10. Sometimes, though, when you play great defense, you still can't stop the likes of Kobe Bryant. Hi again, everyone, with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy. Mike Green on hand. Doris Burke will join us in just a moment. Sometimes Kobe is just magnificent. He did a little bit of everything in that first half, Mark. Well, he certainly did. You talk about setting the tone early, trying to get guys involved. But it, it, you talk about in game one, he looked to be aggressive offensively. Time and time again, early on, getting it going, recognizing the mismatches. Good job of facilitating, getting guys wide open shots. And all of a sudden, put his foot on the gas pedal, taking advantage of the smaller Magic defenders. You talk about degree of difficulty. Well defended, contesting. This is good defense by Peter. You have done your job. Good defense, just better offense. That's why he's the best in the world. Once again, the contest, when he gets it going, he talked about it. I don't even see the defender in the picture. Took over in the first half. The numbers, 18 points, six assists, no turnovers, five rebounds. Kobe Bryant, a terrific first couple of quarters. Meanwhile, for the Orlando Magic, besides Jeff, the fact that they've got to play better defense, as your brother just said, what else do they have to do adjustment-wise? Well, they've got to rebound the ball. They got hammered on the board. So they gave up seven second shots as well as that 52% shooting. And then the Magic, like a lot of teams, they base their game around shooting. And they're not going to win shooting three from 11 from the three-point line. And Dwight Howard and Rashard Lewis both had a struggle in the first half offensively. Well, this is Michael Petrus, who was just one of six. Lewis was one of five. Meanwhile, they did get a boost from Jameer Nelson. And if you're just tuning in, Nelson had missed four months with a shoulder injury, having surgery on it. He came off the bench, first time in four months playing, played 12 minutes and played fairly well. And as the third quarter is underway here at the Staples Center, first two games of these finals here in L.A. And the series shifts to Orlando. It's a 2-3-2 format in the finals. Bryant up and under, pretty move, banks it in. If you see right away, Andrew Bynum coming over to set the screen. Bryant says, no, I don't want to be trapped. Let me dance one-on-one -on -one with the smaller lead. Turkaloo kicks it out. Courtney Lee, wide open three. Can't get it to go. Those are the shots that are not falling right now. Pretty pass blocked by Bynum. Bynum was extremely active in the first half before he picked up his third foul. Bryant, tough shot. That's good. <laughs> He might be having one of those nights. He's got 22 already. You think about it, you're the magic perimeter defender. You come off a series of facing LeBron James and your gift, the prize is to go against Kobe Bryant. Howard against Bynum. Howard just throws it off the glass. He felt he got hit. Bryant lobs it in. Bynum running the floor. Goes back up. Can't get it to go. And Austin comes away. Turklu, extra pass, Lewis for three, that's good. And to me, that's where Orlando plays its best. When they, it's not a fast break, Mike, it's more of that semi-transition where they don't allow the size of the Lakers to set. Again, one of the best three-point shooting teams during the regular season. They had one game this year, they hit 23 threes in one game. That's an NBA record. As Bryant misfires that time. And the key is they have so many different players who can hurt you from downtown. Four guys on the court now. Lewis this time takes it to the basket. Wild shot. They've made some nice drives, but haven't had good finishes as we check in with Doris Burke. Mike, assistant coach Brendan Malone of the Orlando Magic said, listen, our pick and roll defense has got to be better. Kobe Bryant, if he starts to hurt us again like they did, he did in the first half, look for us to blitz him a little bit more. They talked about the 36 points in the paint. On the offensive end, they feel like the length of the Lakers is bothering Dwight Howard. They would like Rafer Olsen to Jeff's point a moment ago, Rafer to come in and push the tempo just a bit, guys. Well, Byron and Gasol present problems, and they bring Odom off the floor. When the Lakers put their mind to playing defense, they can be a good defensive team. And Bynum has just picked up his fourth foul. Kobe Bryant yelling at Danny Crawford. So four on Bynum. When he's been on the floor, he's played well, but just can't stay there as Odom comes in. 
and he's done his job. And this could have gone either way, and that's what Brian and Bynum are talking about. Both guys very physical, both guys trying to get to the spot. This is for all the marbles. I say allow them to bang a little bit longer. And I'm going to say this. They're getting no break with Lamar Odom coming in the game. To me, they're much better served when they've got two bigs on the floor than with Lamar Odom. Howard blocked but foul. It's the offensive rebound. He thought he got fouled on the first one. He's already taken eight free throws. And it'll go back to the line. Third foul on Odom. And you're Dwight Howard. Your job is to attack. Don't look for the referees to bail you out. That's good, hard basketball play by the Lakers. That's a foul. Do your job. Step up and knock down free throws. Odom's trying to say it wasn't on him that it was on Kobe Bryant. He could have called it on one of three Lakers, but that hurts L.A. because that's his third. Bryant doesn't have any fouls. That's how it has that one bounce around and go in. Because now with Bynum with four and Odom with three, that's cause for concern. We think about it. Dwight Howard has the ability to get a whole team in foul trouble. And the beating he's taken throughout the year, truly really amazing. He's played as many games as he has. Shooting 70% from the line in this game, 7 of 10. He's just 1 of 6 from the field, however. 10 point Laker lead. Bryant gets inside. Gasol tips it, keeps it alive. Howard comes away. Nito Turkaloo was hot early and quiet since. Ariza stays with him. Ball deflected out, and Orlando turns it over. It's Laker ball. And that's good defense by the Lakers. That's paying attention to detail. They do a good job of surrounding Turkaloo. You're ready to close out the shooters. You have high hands. That's getting it done defensively. Lakers have had some impressive defensive performances in the playoffs. Game seven against Houston. Games five and six against Denver. Bryant to the basket. And tripped up. They're going to call it in the act of shooting. And it's going to be against Courtney Lee. Lee's second. Again, they are attacking where Kobe Bryant has a great advantage. Size, strength, experience on Lee. And to me, Lee's stance has to be more square. And he's not, I've seen this guy defend, and he's not being aggressive against Bryant. He's just back on his heels and just attack, get, you know, letting Bryant attack him. And if I'm Stan Van Gundy right now, the way that the Lakers are running their offense through Bryant, you have to make the decision to double team him and force somebody else to make a play. This is too much room one on one for Courtney Lee to defend Kobe Bryant. You're asking Courtney Lee to defend the best player in the world. Help comes late at some point force somebody else to win this ball game because Bryant is proven. How about Bryant? He's got 23 and that was his first free throw attempt. He usually gets to the line quite a bit. Knock down. A pair there, it's back up to a dozen. You know, and the dilemma is, Coach, a lot of coaches like to double-team Bryant late. Well, this game could get out of hand pretty quickly if you allow him to just continue to play one-on-one. -on -one. Well, as Yogi Berra said, gets late early. <laughs> well, the Magic have had some good comebacks in these playoffs. Lee knocks down the three-pointer. Lee's not a kid who's intimidated. I mean, he went right at LeBron James a number of times. For a rookie, he shows so much poise. But he just has a tough, tough assignment. Well, that's what I love about this kid. At times tonight, he's been exposed on a defensive end. But he's a tough kid that's proven that's not going to hold his head down. And that last, excuse me, that last play by Dwight Howard shows great improvement by him. A little, not a full double team, but a half double team. Good pass out to Lee on target with the left hand. This is a very good poised play by an improving passer out of the double team. And then Gundy says he's become much more patient in terms of finding the open man. That last foul on Lee, his third, so he comes out, peaches back in. Gasol blocked, but a foul. Rashard Lewis with his third foul. You know, the personal starting to pile up a little bit. Really shows you the versatility of this Laker defense. You can go to Powell Gasol, a seven-footer. This is a mismatch. His job is to punish a small defender, does a good job getting to his spot. 
The foul on Rashad Lewis. Uh, Gasol back in the finals. He was looking forward to come back after subpar performance last year. Lakers losing to Boston. As we remind you, the shopNBAstore.com now for the best selection of Lakers and Magic Finals gear, including the conference championship hats and T-shirts. NBAstore.com, one store every team. Hits a pair. Lakers by 11. The concern of the Lakers, this is a dangerous Orlando Magic team. At any point, they can knock down shots and become a, a nightmare to defend. Hard screen set by Howard. Austin for three. Way short. And Odom with his seventh rebound. Now, Coach, they're getting looks. It's, it's a make or miss league. That's what you talk about all the time. Right, and especially for this team, when you're relying on the three-point shot, you need to make to stay in the game. Ariza, you kind of got the feeling it wasn't going soon as he released it. He was hopping, hoping that it went in. Austin gets inside. Can't get it. Power the offensive board. And he's whacked. Fisher call for the foul. Two on Fisher. Well, again, good screen by Dwight Howard. And a missed layup is almost like a pass to Dwight Howard because as he rolls to the rim, there's not a perimeter player in the league, minus maybe LeBron James, who can put a body on him and stop him from getting a second shot. He has put up just tremendous numbers in this postseason, especially in the Cleveland series. Single coverage, picks it up. Austin wide open for three. And those shots just not going down right now for Orlando. Five of 16 from three-point range. But another good feed from Dwight Howard out of the post. It's inside-outside basketball. They're getting quality looks. Kobe Bryant, hit, count it, and one. 26 for Kobe Bryant and a chance for a three-point play. Well, a very good screen by Gasol. Very good use of the screen by Bryant. Gets to his right hand, and you couldn't see the foul there where he clipped his leg. But that is just, that's just pretty basketball by one great player. So much made of this week. We talk about Kobe Bryant, how desperate he is for another championship. He's lost his last two finals, 2004 to Detroit, and of course last year. One in his first three trips, trying to get that fourth ring. Howard gets it deep. Offensive foul on Howard. That's his third. I don't know. I don't know if the soul gave him room to move. You got to give credit to the bigs for the Los Angeles Lakers. Doing a great job of keeping a body on Dwight Howard. The elbow to the ribs, no question about it. Outstanding job making the call. You're right, Mark. Coming up on the midway point of the second. Bryant to Gasol. Inside Odom. Odom hit. Put it in. And a foul. And the Lakers starting to blow this one open. It's a 16-point lead. Lamar Odom has played well off the bench. Powell Gasol, one of the best passing big men in the NBA. Creating a lot of problems out of the pick and roll. Bryant takes the double team. You talk about the high low pass of Pau Gasol. Big guys that can make those plays. Not only the pass, but the ability to catch in traffic and finish. You have two guys around seven feet who are so skilled in Odom and Gasol. This is the largest lead of the game. Howard looking. Austin will try again. Ready for Austin, just two of eight from the field. But again, the play by Dwight Howard is the right play. To me, the Magic need to cut a little bit more. The soul up and under. Beautiful adjustment. And they're on their feet at the Staples Center as the Lakers have opened up an 18-point lead. Again, the Bryant pick and roll, great pocket bounce pass, late rotation by Richard Lewis, great adjustment by Pau Gasol. Nine That's the eye of the tiger, Mike. <laughs> 
There's a lot of players that don't even get to the NBA Finals in their career. This is my sixth time here, and I've been fortunate enough to win three so far. This means I've been very lucky. It's been a long, terrific year for Kobe Bryant, this summer winning the gold medal, and coming back leading the Lakers to 65 wins, third best record of franchise history. And he keeps saying, Mark, that nothing shy of a championship will mean anything. Everything else is a huge disappointment, and he's doing everything, including coaching. Well, talking, communicating, being a leader. Sometimes what you go through is transportation to where you're going to. Right now, Kobe Bryant is playing with a sense of urgency. He kept saying that they needed to have some tough games before they got to the finals. They certainly had their share against Houston and against Denver. Even Utah gave him a couple of tough ones. Lewis, nice little fake. Good open look. But still can't get it to go. Lewis, two for eight. And right now, Orlando shooting 31% from the field. But that's the type of moves that he's going to have to make. They're running them off the spot. He has to put the ball on the floor and look to get close. The ball batted around. Last touch by the Magic. Nine left on the 24. When a shooting team doesn't shoot well, sometimes they have a lack of aggression defensively. Right there, that loose ball, if you want to make a comeback in this game, you're going to have to secure that ball with two hands. Bryant, pull-up jumper. Again, you talked about this early, Jeff, the momentum of the three-point shot. It's such a big part of their offense. I mean, they're more than a three-point shooting team, but it really gets their spirit. Well, they have to do both, and they, they're one of the few teams that shoot a lot of threes and get to the free-throw line. And right now in this game, they've done a good job getting good open threes, haven't made them, and they've done a good job of getting to a free-throw line. But it's the paint play that they have not done a good job with. Derek Fisher call for a foul. They're in the penalty. That's three on Fisher. We've got a host of players with three. Bynum has four. Ariza Fisher and Odom have three. Meanwhile, Lewis, Howard, Lee, and Petrus have three for Orlando. Oh, a key part of this ball game, the second quarter, the Magic up 33-28 with 8.30 to go in the, in the quarter. They insert Kobe Bryant back into the ball game. Since that point, it's been 40-18, to 18, and the Lakers have dominated. They want to see Austin at the line. Where would the Magic be without Ray for Austin after the Jameer Nelson injury? Otis Smith acquiring him from Houston. Such a big trade to get a starting point guard, and he has really helped them. He played for you in Houston. He played for your brother in Miami. Well, it really saved their season. You know, Anthony Johnson, Ty Luke, good players, but not starting type players that can eat up minutes. Ray for Alston can play big minutes. Shot clock winding down. Kobe Bryant on the drive. Gets to the basket. Oh, what a move for Kobe Bryant as the shot clock expires. He's got 29. And the Lakers back up by 18. Used every second of the shot clock there. Lewis trying to draw a foul. Barrels in, blocked by Ariza. Lakers playing some physical defense. Get the idea that this guy is trying to make a statement in game one. Mama, there goes that man. The ability to put the ball on the floor and finish at the rim. My goodness. Not only the 29 points, seven assists. And he has five rebounds as well. No turnovers. Turkaloo off the mark. And the shooting numbers continue to plummet for Orlando. Bryant again. He's got that look. He's got that game. <laughs> Serious. You know what? Everyone talks about, like, look. Hey, that is fundamentally sound by a great athlete. And the Magic have a different look. Orlando unraveling right now. A 20-point Laker lead led by Kobe Bryant's 31. Bryant looks up at the shot clock. Couple of fakes. Shot clock at two. He's got to put it up. Tries to bank it. Does so. And a foul. Kobe Bryant brilliant here in the third quarter. And the Lakers up by 22.
incredible on the offensive end. Good defense, just better offense. The ability to take the hit, create your own shot, a thing of beauty. Bryant putting on a clinic. The man they call the closer not waiting till the fourth quarter to do his damage. 16 points in the period, 34 for the game, and the Lakers up by 23. Petrus fires away. Michael Petrus nails the three. And Orlando just going to have to slowly try and chip away to get back into it. And this is a team with a three-point weapon. They can get back into ball game, but it's going to have to start with getting stops. As he said, they are the ultimate bounce-back team. As Odom fell down, they're so resilient from game to game, sometimes from quarter to quarter. They never get down. Nelson blocked by Gasol. Picked up by Bryant. Turkaloo looks to stop him. Hard foul. Smart play by Turkaloo. And Bryant will go to the line. And we'll have a timeout. The brilliance of Kobe Bryant on display here in game one. Well, here he goes. He just goes into a multiple move. Back and in. Good defense. Spins by him. Re-clutches. Bank. And one. Wow. He looks mean. <laughs> the Lost, starring Will Ferrell, in theaters tomorrow. Rated PG-13. Priority mail flat rate boxes, only from the Postal Service. And Samsung LED TV. Breakthrough picture quality in an ultra-slim design. Time for tonight's edition of Gatorade Cooler Talk. Who do you think we're talking about? Talking about the Orlando Magic. Good reads on the offensive end. The attention paid to Dwight Howard does a good job of kicking out. Is a make a miss lead, says Coach Jeff Van Gundy. You're getting wide open looks. Missed the jumper. How about an easy lay-in off the pick and roll? Once again, don't settle for the jumper. Sells the pump fake, gets in the scene time and time again. These are quality looks for the Orlando Magic. The reason that this team is in the finals, their ability to make these shots. So far tonight in game one, shooting 30% from the field. Chuck Lou, one of the few early that had it going. You see the three-point shooting. Now, six of 18 is not bad, 33%. But overall shooting is just 31%. And again, Brian pouring on the points, and it's only his fifth free throw. You know how they say one man can't beat a team? I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> one man can beat a team. This guy has dominated each offensive possession. Think about it. Go back to any possession in this game. Can you name where he was not involved where it turned out to be a positive? Whether he's, a, you want to call it being on fire in the zone as the look. He's unstoppable when he's playing like this. And he's got 36, which is the most he's scored in a finals game. Turkaloo. Shot won't go. Bryant, his seventh rebound. He's on the way to a triple-double. He had a triple-double against the Magic during the regular season. Finds Ariza. Ariza open three. Bang! 25-point lead for the Lakers. But once again, it's off of the play of Bryant. Taking double teams and making every right decision. And that's the eighth assist for Kobe Bryant. Howard down low, not whacked. Although Bryant felt he had a clean play on it. And see who they call the foul on. His first foul for Kobe. Goes away from the pick and roll. Turkaloo rotates to the body of Pal Gasol, leaving Ariza wide open. Bryant, the skip pass on point. This is the third straight impressive game for the Lakers. Again, go back to the conference finals. Playing against Denver, they lost by 19 in game fours. Howard misses that. Then came back an impressive win in game five. Closed out the series game six. And maybe their best all-around performance of the playoffs. And they followed up with a superb effort here in game one so far. I know it's still the third quarter. But they are in complete control. Now 
are just nine points, only one of six from the field. Again, you guys talked about this at the top. The length of the Lakers really makes a difference, especially when Bynum's out there playing and Gasol and Odom. It's one factor when he catches it, they can give help without a full-blown double team. But it's also a factor when they're trying to get the ball into him. Right there, they had him on a high low, but Rashard Lewis couldn't see over the size of Lamar Odom. Shot clock down to five. Bryant, that's a two-pointer. Too strong. Ariza flying in for the rebound. That's just a soft play by Courtney Lee. You got to hit him on the on the way to the rim like that. Ball deflected. Howard got a piece of it. He coming the other way. Finds Petrus. Odom doing a good job fronting. Then behind, trying to mix it up on Howard. Laker defense on Howard has been just terrific. Lee jump shot. That one in and out, and Odom hauls in his tenth rebound of the game. Plus eight in the rebounding for the Lakers. Inside. Off the mark, Gasol right there to clean it up. This now the largest lead as Petrus gets to the basket. A rare time where Lakers didn't defend in the paint. Final seconds of what has been a dominant third quarter for Kobe Bryant, the Lakers. Bryant to drive, puts it up. And that ends the third period. 18 points in the third quarter. 36 for the game to go along with eight assists and seven rebounds. As the Lakers outscore the Magic 29 to 15 here in the third quarter. This presentation of the NBA Finals on ABC will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations.